Thanks, Bob. I'm Dan Brooks, the Cast Iron Ranger. Welcome to another segment of the show. And with me today is Brent Bolton. Welcome, Brent. Hey, Dan. You're becoming a regular on the show. It's good to be here again. Thanks for having me. Yes, I'm glad you're here. We're here at the Coronado State Monument. We've got the beautiful sandias in the background. It's just nice outdoor weather for cooking. Beautiful fall day in New Mexico. Now, you've got, got something special for us today, a sweet dessert. Absolutely. This is an old favorite. We're going to do a peach crisp. Let's get started. What, we gotta, what we've got here is a bowl full of cut peaches all ready to go. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to help and, and uh, sure. mix this up. What we're going to add to these peaches, let's start with, uh, with about a cup of sugar. Just pour just, it in? It gets all of it. You bet. All right. Got a little wind here. Yeah, there you go. All right. And then we've got, uh, let's get our spices. we got uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon? Let's add some cinnamon. There we go. And then we've got our nutmeg and just a little bit of salt. I put them both in the same bowl. A little bit of salt, okay. There we go. Now the last ingredient for the for the filling is the secret, Dan. The secret. That's tapioca. All right. All and the tapioca like helps all the juice that cooks out of those peaches to kind of turn more like all jelly. Right. So it doesn't, it's not too runny. So if you'll work on mixing that up real, real good, that'll this. be the base for this dessert. And uh, I'll, I'll start working on the topping here. How many would dessert. this recipe feed? Yeah. I imagine maybe just you and me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. We might have to share. Well, okay, maybe there's four bowls. No, I, I would imagine this would probably feed, this would probably make eight nice bowls of, uh, of crisp. You don't want too big a bowl of crisp because you've got to save room for the ice cream. Ah. Ah. All right, well, I'm just about blended out here. Let's, uh, that looks good. Make my little windshield wiper there on my blender work. Yeah. Handy dandy. All right, are we ready to? How's it look? All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna use a, a cake pan to set mm -hmm. inside the Dutch oven. Yes, and what that. that does is that keeps all this juice and, and from the brown sugar that caramelizes from sticking to our Dutch oven uh, really bad and making a royal mess in the oven. It'll make it a lot easier to clean up. There we go. Let's, I'm going to bore that. your spoon sure. there, and we're going to just spread that out nice and even. Yeah. Okay, and if you'll man the spoon yeah, there, this. I'll uh, yeah. start working that over. And if you'll just work that out to the edge, yeah, Dan. Push that over. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah, let's see. Maybe I can yeah. help just a bit here. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to yeah. make sure we get that. Yeah, get that nice. Now this ends up mounting up. It. it ends up mounting up pretty tall on the on the beginning because it cooks down. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right. Cook down. The yes. fruit really cooks down, so you just right. have to kind of work it. Yeah, I will tell you that smells good already, and we haven't even started cooking with all the spices and and everything in the fruit. It smells delicious. Gee, that was hard, wasn't it, yeah, buddy? Yeah, that yeah. was hard. That was really yeah. easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this over to the Dutch oven. And uh, we didn't want to make anybody wait for their dessert today. So I actually made one earlier, and it's just now done. So we're going to switch it all out. All right. Well, okay? that's good thinking. Tell you what, if you'll yeah. grab the gloves, all right, I'll we'll, follow uh, you over. we'll pull that one out, and I'll set this one over there next to the, next to the oven, ready to go in next. You ready there, yeah. bud? Yeah. So okay. we've already got our setup. You've already had this done. And woo, look at that. Oh man. Take this out. There we go. Ooh. We're just setting it up there on the cutting board. Look at that. Oh, you got to see that. And the smell of that with that cinnamon. I think we're uh I think we're ready to try this out. We are. That cuts real nice and easy. It does. Oh. <laughs> That's right. I got to have some of that crisp. Let me get some of that peach. Ooh. Let me get some more of the peaches down there. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Woo. All right, we got our spoons here. <laughs> I tell you, it's a little hot, 
Might have to blow on this just to If I put you in that Dutch oven, you'd be a little hot, I too. I bet I would be. <laughs> but look at that. That's just perfect. All right. Mm, got a little peach. Got Ooh, a little you're cinnamon. right. That is warm. It, it is warm, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's all there is to a peach crisp. That's it, buddy. That's it. You're eating dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I think any, anybody camping could pull this off. Yeah, you bet. I think so. Oh, mm. oh, mm -hmm. uh huh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. You bring the ice cream? Mm -mm. <laughs> I forgot it. Blame that on me. <laughs> <laughs>